Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Henry VIII and today we get to hear from Dun 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 Cardinal Wolsey in Act 2 Scene 4. So the this scene has been like the divorce proceedings for Henry VIII and Queen Catherine and she broke from, from tradition and made a plea to Henry directly saying what did I ever do? I was an awesome wife. Why are you doing this now? I don't buy it. And Cardinal Wolsey stepped in and then she was like, no, 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 we're not listening to you because I hate you. And she, she decided that um, she was not going to let either Wolsey or Campius decide her fate. She wants the Pope himself to decide whether or not this marriage is legal or can be annulled or whatever, whatever, according to Henry VIII. And she actually just stormed out of the courtroom after reminding Wolsey that he's a piece of crap. So when she leaves, Henry VIII is like, actually, she was a really good queen and a good person, and she was always kind. And anybody who's ever said that they had a better wife is a liar, because she's kind of the best. And Cardinal Wolsey, ever the one to look out for his own butt, says, most gracious sir, in humblest manner, I require your highness that it shall please you to declare in hearing of all these ears, for where I am robbed and bound, there must I be unloosed although not there at once and fully satisfied. Whether ever I did broach this business to your highness or laid any scruple in your way which might induce you to the question on it, or ever have to you, but with thanks to God for such a royal lady, spake one the least word that might be to the prejudice of her present state or touch her good person. So basically he's asking the king, do you blame me for this? Because she basically blames Wolsey for this, um, as was evident in when she was ripping on him earlier in the scene. But now he, ever the ass kisser, wants to make sure that the king doesn't think that Wolsey planted the idea in his head that he should get divorced or that his marriage was was invalid or any of that kind of stuff. So he, yeah, he wants to be able to maintain his place, maintain the level of respect that the king has for him and all of that kind of stuff. And tomorrow we get to hear the king's response. Otherwise I'd tell you how the king responds, but you'll just have to tune in tomorrow to find out. I'll see you then. Mwah.